What is up, everybody? I am the Ross and Angela back here with another Borderlands 2 build video. This is with my OP8 Mac. Yes, I finally got the Mac to OP8. And so now I'm going to be showing you a killer fire based build with her. I haven't come up with a name, but you're going to see it on the name of YouTube video. Before we start, a big shout out and thank you to my friend Grifter who gave me the gentle OP8 blockhead. I really appreciate it. Without, the, without your generous donation, this build would not have been nearly as possible. So thank you and to all others who helped, like K6 and others. You're awesome, and I appreciate it. Thank you. Now let's get started with the Best Friends Forever tree close enough. You know, if you're high up in anar anarchy, this works brilliantly. Uh, especially with the, the blockhead, you know, since the bolts are close together, you know, they'll stay together. So close enough cause it to bounce towards your enemy and all those bullets going close to your enemy will work awesomely. The better half, uh, you know, it's, e it's easier to kill your opponent faster when your bullets are going faster. Upshot Robot, this is really great because uh, you, you or Death Trap kills an enemy, Death Trap stays in for longer. And the thing about this build is Death Trap almost will never die. He, he will most of the time never die during anything he fights. Uh, and so you're going to have him in a lot of the time as just one BA killing machine. Potent as a pony will make sure he has more health for that. You know, the more more health for the enemy to hardly bother trying to drain. And uh, made of sterner stuff is basically the same thing, only it causes damage reduction for both you and Death Trap. So that makes him even more of an unbeatable BA. Uh, explosive Clap, whether you're level 17 or 80 or OP8, or whatever, this is a great move. If your enemy's slagged, they're not going to survive this this clap. It's awesome. I'll get to you later, Techno Psycho IG. Uh, and now there's 20% cooler. This is really great, uh, because, you know, Death Trap's going to be doing most of the damage. He, he's going to be completely unstoppable, but when he's not there, you're going to want him there. Uh, so this, this helps you get closer to that, closer to him being there when he's not. Uh, sharing is caring. I use the Flame of the Firehawk Shield, and it is immensely powerful on Death Trap. And so, if you both, so both of you having it, well, you have it, and because of this perk, Death Trap has it, which makes him immensely powerful. And sandwiching a single enemy between the both, the no, it's going between both of you, it's just gonna annihilate anything. Because you're sandwiching it with Novas. Alright, now a little big trouble, we got more pep, which increases uh, the chance of causing status effects. Burn being the most important one in this build. Uh, the stair, basically, it's an upgrade from the lightning beam laser. This is really powerful. It's way more powerful than the other beam. And it's a, it causes burn damage, which is good for this build. Shockstorm, you know, when killing an enemy with a critical hit, it causes electrical damage to enemies nearby. So that's pretty good for this build. So yeah. Whenever the trap kills it, it causes it to that enemy too, not just your critical hits. Uh, Evil Enchantress, if you've seen Jay Flair, he explains this in some of his builds. Uh, Evil Enchantress, uh, you really need to keep this going, because when it is going, it's going to cut through enemies. When it's not, it's not going to do so well. I'll put the link to his video in the description. But this is the pinnacle to any good Macromancer uh, elemental build. you got to have this, otherwise you're not going to do nearly as good. Uh, electrical Burn, basically, when you, uh, when you cause electrocution damage, it causes a bunch of status effects, too. Uh, them as well. So like fire, they'll be on fire and they'll take burn damage and stuff like that. So yeah. Interspersed outburst. Uh, this when you're not shooting for a while, it slags. When you finally shoot, it slags your enemies. Uh, it's it's gonna be really easy to kill your enemies when they're slagged. And if you have, even though you're gonna be waiting for a sec for whatever, uh, make it sparkly. This basically when you shoot a uh, death trap with an element, he you know. He adds the element to his body and does melee damage, you know, with that element. So, like, he hits, if he's slagged, he slags the enemies. With that Nova going, he's going to destroy. If he's on fire, the fire will do more damage. Uh, and, of course, you have to have these two to move on. Uh, Anarchy and the other one. Uh, Blood Soak Shield. The problem with Nova Shields is that they have to be fully charged. And so, with Blood Soak Shields, this solves this. You kill an enemy, they're fully charged already, which is really going to help. It's going to be beautiful. You're going to love it, I promise. Uh, Robot Rampage, the best part of this is his spinning move. You know, when he's surrounded, that that really helps. And when he, you got the Nova going too, it's just going to melt everything around. It's going to claw and then burn everything to ash. So, yeah. Beautiful. 
Discord, you have to have this unless you want to accidentally reload and lose any stack of anarchy you have. This slows the process, and if you uh, accidentally reload again, it fixes that. Uh, pretty strong cyberpunk, put the rest of that into that just to have more anarchy stacks, which is which will help. Uh, but that means I couldn't put in rational anarchists, but you'll with this you'll be getting to 25 faster. Well, not faster, but you'll be getting to it very fast, is my point. And now my current loadout. We have the Win Win Fibber. The Fibber is a re really great. Any good mech has this. Any good mech. And it's fire, so it's really going to help. Whew, so yeah. Uh, the Puissant Norfleet. Uh, you got to have a good rocket launcher in there. And it's Puissant, so it's a strong prefix, and it's fire. The Grog Nozzle, whether you want to slag your enemies, or death trap, or just heal, that's good. Uh, gentle blockhead. Again, thank you to Grifter. I really need this. It's a, it's good. It's for. It's a great fire shotgun, and it's really good for elemental builds. Uh, flame, flame, the firehawk. Really good uh, for death trap and me, or if you're gonna use it, you. It's beautiful. It's gonna cause a m lot of damage. Legendary catalyst. Uh, it's what J Flair uses. It's amazing because it causes team elemental effect damage. And, you know, the Evil Enchantress boost, which is really awesome. Bone of the Ancients, fire damage. It's a fire build, you're going to want this. Chain Lightning, you throw up before you go into battle, it, it, you know, wrecks the shields of your enemies. So, that'll help. And then Practicable Interface, or just this and the uh, the Florentine are going to be good for taking down enemy shields quick, as well as the new and improved Omen. Uh, Practicable Interfacer, I had this as a substitute before I got the Gentle Blockhead. It did well before... Uh, I got the blockhead. The blockhead's going to do amazing. So, yeah. And now, uh, next one down, also given to me by Grifter, the Practicable Butcher Fire. Another flaming shotgun, Hyperion. It's beautiful. I'm going to have it here just in case I need to use it. Uh, Pews and Norfleet, not everything takes fire damage very easily. This is for robots and stuff, as well as uh, the Flacker. Techno Psycho IG, I will take care of you later. Uh, Pews and Norfleet for Sly in case. If you've seen my accident video, you already know about this. If not, go back and watch it, and that'll be explained to you, as well as the double penetrator and Uh Practicable Heartbreaker. It, it's a flaming moxie shotgun. It's At this point, it, it should speak for itself. Uh, another Fibber. This one's for shields. Uh, Rustler Scattergun. I use this for getting up. Uh, anarchy faster if I want to just go in with a lot of anarchy. With this, I'm going to be going in with zero anarchy to show you uh, the real potential of this build. So, yeah. But but that's in there just in case. Uh, Mind of the Seraphs, so I'm going to be doing a melee build with this character, so I have a bunch of melee stuff in here like this and some roid shields and stuff like that. So, yeah. Expect that. Expect to see that. Uh, yeah, there's uh, the elemental stuff, the corrosive shock, you know. Again, already explained, and same thing with explosive. Can't get rid of the loot relic, legendary anarchist. Again, mainly for the melee build. Uh, there's another blast thing and some shock stuff, and uh, yeah, the melee stuff. And the magic missile was up there too. So. All right, and bar was on, and let's get to it.
right, there you guys have it. I hope you enjoyed. This was a beast of a build, and I've been waiting to do this for a long time. Like, comment, subscribe. There's going to be a melee build coming out soon with my mech. And, uh, well, thank you, everybody, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.